than ever. Some say it's real, some say it's fake, but we'll let you guys decide that. This week at Channel 7, we went out and learned the hard way that the reason pro wrestling looks so easy is because those guys do a lot of work to make it look that way. Free fall, forget about your troubles, there is free fall right here. Just remember, son, life is so much fun when it's free. Sure, it looks easy on television, leading everyone to believe that anyone who is slightly larger than the state of Montana can just step into the ring and be a pro wrestler. Uh, but the truth of the matter is most wrestlers don't just luck into the perfectly executed body slam. They actually study the art. No, not in the undergraduate years at Harvard. Rather, at pro wrestling schools like this one, the Global Wrestling Academy in Davie. The professionals that you usually see and the fans usually see on TV, I mean, they have years and years and years of professional wrestling experience. They're, they're in there every night, some of them literally seven nights a week, and they have a chance to refine their skills. But as you've seen in most of our students when they walk in, it isn't quite as easy as it looks. Well, they can, they can hurt you if they want to. So I, you know, I was a little nervous, but now I just starting to enjoy the pain. Once they've learned to love pain, would-be title holders bump and bruise their way through a curriculum consisting of everything from Head Scissors 101 to Theory of the Dreaded Souffles. Under the tutelage of pro wrestling legend Professor Malenko, highly sensitive maneuvers like the groin blast <clears throat> take roughly three to six months and several damaged groins to master. And just like the pros, students come in all shapes, sexes, and sizes. Okay, slam a man, thank you. <laughs> More than likely, I can teach you. You know, it, it's, it's that simple. If you, if you just give me your attention, usually I need your undivided attention, but if you give me that attention, I've... Um, so-called, I'm not bragging, but to have performed miracles with some people. So you're saying that you could take me and turn me into, say, the Polish pile driver? Well, I guess I could. That'll do it for us while I try to recover from motion sickness. You stay tuned because George Michael...